We're here at CBS 2016 in Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm very pleased to be joined this morning by Duncan Machama, who is Business Development Manager for Brick Education. Duncan, thank you very much for being with us thank in you. the studio this morning. Thank you. Thank now, you. you're here as one of young innovators. You're creating technological innovations here for socioeconomic development. Yes. Now, here in the studio, we've got a, a big black flight case here, which... Uh, I, I don't think it's, a, it's a, your personal hovercraft or, uh, or, or yeah. your collection of shoes. Uh, yeah. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that. Open up the, open the case and, and tell us what you brought with you today. Yeah, so this, this is our holistic educational solution, which we hope to digitize classrooms uh, across Africa. Yeah, so our vision is to enable the millions of children across emerging markets to get access to digital tools uh, for better learning. Yeah. So what I have here is 40 tablets, it's 40 tablets, rugged yeah, to withstand uh, the drops, the spills, uh, the scratches that the kids actually have when, when they're doing their education. Uh, I have 40 tablets here uh, and, and the operating system is locked on the learn, play and grow system. Because we understand as Brick that that is the entire uh, cycle that kids go through. Yeah, so in the play section, we have, we have memory games. We have digital uh, literacy games that enable students actually have good memory. Yeah? In, the, in, the, in the learn section, we have partnered with digital uh, content providers like Elimu, Ikitabu, who have digitized uh, their content. Yeah? And then uh, in the grow section, we have extra uh, curriculum uh, content where uh, kids can learn about uh, digital safety, they can learn about uh, responsible citizenship, yeah? they can learn about Vision 2030 here in Kenya, Agenda 2063 uh, in Africa, or even the Sustainable Development Goals. All this uh, is, is gotten in this uh, Kyo tablet. Yeah. And there are 40 tablets in, in, in this kit, is that right? Yes. When you're developing and designing the solution, we realize that if you go over 40 uh, students, then the, the student-teacher ratio will be, there will be an imbalance. Yeah? So that's why we designed our, our solution just to, to fit exactly that. Yeah. Great. And in terms of uh, how they connect up the, their uh, tablets here to the content, how does that work exactly? So here we have a micro server where all the contents are stored here. Yeah? So for digital safety, we have locked down the operating system, as I, as I told you before. Uh, all the content is loaded here, and then it broadcasts to the 40 tablets. Yeah? There are no cameras uh, on the tablets, as you can see, so that uh, we, we can ensure digital safety. If you walk away with this tablet, then uh, it, it will be useless to you. Yeah. And so you're able to uh, modify the content uh, and update it, etc.? Yes. Yes, yes. And how, how do they do that? How do the, 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 uh, the teachers do that? So three ways you can, you can uh, accomplish that. One is by actually having a USB stick, uh, put it in here, and then you can be able to update the content. The other way is you can do it uh, over the internet. So uh, the brick here has uh, GSM capabilities, there's an Ethernet capability. So at night, uh, when the students are sleeping, then uh, the, the tablet is actually uh, uploading content into it. Yes. And what about the power for this? Because I mean, I know I mean, I, my daughter's got a, a tablet that she uses at school, uh, but she often forgets to charge it, etc. What happens? Uh, what happens to these tablets? How how can they be charged? Fantastic. Uh, now we designed our solution is designed for Africa. We understand that we have infrastructure pro uh, problems, which mainly is power and connectivity. So our tab our, our Kio kit has only one uh, charging port and the tablets themselves charge wirelessly. So if a kid actually just drops uh, the tablet in, in any direction, then it can be able to charge wirelessly. At night, it charges for six hours, and during the day, it can take the entire uh, school day. Right. And what kind of feedback have you had on this so far? In one of the schools that we had, uh, they were performing poorly. Uh, the kids could not read, yeah? But now with the games, uh, with some of the storybooks like Ubongo. Now we found that their test scores actually went up. Yeah? In Dagoretti School, uh, one of the schools actually topped uh, the constituency. Yeah? And, and it's more fun in class. 
uh, kids are asking more questions. Their curiosity levels have increased. Yeah? And now they can be able to solve basic uh, problems. So that's the kind of feedback we're getting uh, when, when you're establishing the Kio kit. And in yeah. terms of the tablet, that's, it's, you've developed this tablet. It, 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 did it start off looking differently, or how, how does this yes. evolve? Yes. One of the cornerstones that we, we have uh, at Brick is a user experience. So previously, these headphones were black. Yeah? And we found that it took a lot of time for kids actually to know uh, which earphones goes on which ear and the rest. So when, when the user experience team actually observed that, that's when now we actually color-coded uh, the headphones and put a big R on the right and, and a big L on the left. And we have actually established that even learning becomes, uh, starts from there, where the teacher says, okay, where is your, show me your right ear, uh, and then where is your left ear, and then now put that there. Then we, we actually realize that uh, learning begins there. Yeah. Great. And you're based here in Kenya, yes. uh, but you understand you, you're offering this solution to the Solomon Islands. Yes. So you're, you're, you're expanding globally. Yes. Our team is based here, and we're trying to solve local problems, but we are constantly thinking of global problems. And Solomon Islands, Malawi, right now we're actually uh, translating some of the contents into Spanish. And uh, in terms of the future, how, how do you hope that this will grow for you? One of the problems that we're having in Africa is how do, you, how do you actually enable, how do you build capacity for the disabled? So in our roadmap, we are looking at uh, making it uh, friendly to the disabled. How, how can they get uh, the experience better? Yeah? How can we actually enable individuals yeah? This is designed for a school. Yeah? Uh, down, down the road, we're going to have individual tablets where you can say, uh, as a child, go with it at home. Uh, go teach your, your parents about the sustainable development goals. And, and the opportunities there are just immense. And in terms of an investment for a school, I mean, how much, how much would this, this kit set them back? Our vision is to en enable the millions of children across uh, the emerging markets. So we have also made the kit very affordable. So with $5,000, you get the 40 tablets, you get the ruggedized case, you get the 40 earphones, and also the, the extendable charger. So that's the investment that, that a school uh, puts in. Great. Yeah. So uh, you're, you're definitely making inroads there into affordability and, yes. and, uh, and accessibility as well. Yes. Well, we wish you the very best of luck with your project. I know that you. uh, you're participating in a session here at uh, CBS 2016. Young innovators yes. are going to be uh, pitching their projects, uh, pitted up against each other. Yes. And yes. I know that the audience are going to vote at the end. Well, I, I wish you the very best with that, but uh, Thank you. Thank very you. much, obviously, in the future as well. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you at some stage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.